Does the child need to be on a specific diet during or after the treatment? The truth is we don't emphasize that because I want the parents to focus on one thing, figure out a way to get those things in the child's mouth. And that is not as easy as it sounds. It's very difficult. So parents have to figure out different ways. So if it means putting it in something that they like, but it's not good for them, but if that's the only way, by all means, they, they, they put it there. So I, I don't, I'm focused on getting and playing the gut, not at this time on specific kinds of foods, because it's enough trouble just getting them to use the, the, the medication, the supplements we give them. Yeah, probably she also like, was, I remember I had that question too, whether I should also consider casein-free, um, gluten-free. And I, I actually got the answer for myself because if the, if the like you said, the land, if the, if the, if the gut is not clean, they can't even absorb what you're giving them, even though it's gluten-free, they can't absorb the nutrients. So I just thought um, I'd rather start with cleaning it out. It's just like getting expensive furniture, <laughs> but the house is dirty. <laughs>